Welcome back to the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 Vento Oreo PS2 game. We're going to start this off with shooting Seko with our uh, with our stand shoot as Mista. That's the first secret factor. Then the next one is to break these boxes. This is all to unlock a shortcut path that Mista has to take. The next one is to shoot this billboard right here. These are all like in rapid succession to get us to the quickest way out of this shitty fucking segment. I hate chapter 10. The only good one is chapter 10 too. And the last fucking secret factor here is to shoot that broken ass railing right there. And then you can finally run up these goddamn stairs and escape this fucking hellish nightmare that is this chapter. I hate all of fucking Seko's parts because he's such a piece of shit with all of his fucking land diving garbage. And I'm just using this segment to rant for the rest of it. I showed off the actual secret factors of this part, which some can be easily missed because some of them are fucking progression blockers. But uh, besides that, uh, we're going to move on to the only fun part when we get to fight uh, Chocolato, Chocolato, I think is his name. I don't know. Fucking Italian shit. But uh, with uh, Gierna, which is a much more straightforward fight, and it's so much better, and goddamn is this such a more fun combat scenario and I don't know why I'm taking so long to start up this match but the first one you want to do is you want to stand shoot his stand and destroy it. Uh, next you're gonna want to uh, wait for him to break apart like now and then you want to stand shoot his body parts and if you stand shoot uh, I believe you have to wait for him to break apart again you need to stand shoot either his body parts or then stand shoot his regular torso. Because uh, each of them are both their own secret factor. So here we go. And now that he's all bundled up, you can uh, see my, my fucking game drops there. Because like rapid succession punching like that to multiple objects just fucking tears at my PC a bit. But uh, yeah, if you hit his regular body and then if you hit his body parts, those are both two separate secret factors. And the last secret factor here is to finish him with a level 3 stand shoot, the last one of those in the game. And uh, I almost went for a perfect run here, but the, uh, the fucking his green days caught me at the last second and gave me a little bit of his fucking mossy, shitty poison damage. I, I hate like burn damage like this, it's really annoying. But, uh, and we are done. He's fucking dead. And we get to move on to the least, my least favorite segment of all of Chapter 10. It's honestly, I, I hate this fight coming up. And we are finally here. We're at my least favorite segment of this game. Bruno versus Seko, or uh, Bruno versus the Oasis stand user, and goddamn is this fight fucking irritating, especially since one of the secret factors has a possibility of just not working. So, the first few parts of this are okay, but uh, you get to parts of this fucking secret factors in this fight that are just goddamn ridiculous. Like, one of them if you've read the manga, it makes more sense, because th this is very accurate to the manga in itself, and it's so hard to perfect this fucking fight, because you gotta, you gotta predict every one of his movements, and coming up, I almost didn't get the secret factor here, because you gotta stand still completely, and then Seko gets completely lost underground and he can't find you, then you have to stand shoot him from behind, and next secret factor is to destroy this car, that is, that is all of the secret factor. Now, the final, final secret factor is to destroy a car while Seko is still underground. So you gotta, you gotta build a car up to the right moment and you gotta wait for him to go underground. Sometimes he'll be underground and it just doesn't work and then you're out of cars. You cannot continue to get all of the secret factors. But after you max that shit out, you're able to just fucking wail on this dude. And uh, be very careful of his slide attack because the slide attack Gives you, puts you into a long, annoying animation that you have to sit through the entire thing of. But besides that, it's as standard as just waiting for him and then hitting him with a full stand charge. This move is also really hard because it completely fucks your like perfect no hit run. Because it will just clip you just the right amount and you'll be so... You... This fight's really annoying and I don't like it. And I'm glad I was able to perfect it for this run. So, uh, yeah. Those are all the secret factors for this part. Uh, 
I noticed that this is one of the fights that made me, like, want to do a Secret Factors guide because I noticed there weren't any videos online when I was doing this originally to tell me what the Secret Factors were. So I had to look them up myself and have to learn the hard way how they worked. And, uh, it was a pretty fun experience, but this is just for people who may need them in the future. I really don't want anyone to have such a negative feeling about this game like I do when it comes to this fight. Like, I, I really, I really don't enjoy this fight. <laughs> and, uh, coming from this being my favorite JoJo part in a video game, uh, it's nice to actually be able to do it pretty well. And, uh, there we go. Luckily, when he hit us that one time, it hit our stand and not us, and we took no damage. And, uh, I'll see you next time.